Nazi, model, entertainer, and singer. She's doing very well. All in one. <laughs> I'm going to come over to Ada. Okay, we go to Ada next. Ada, you've just walked into a sauna because you want to sweat, because you want to take off some weight, and you want to get yourself in condition. So walk into the sauna and see how hot it's getting. See how hot it's getting. You can feel the steam going through you. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> now take your towel and you can walk out. <laughs> you can sit down now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's some cool stuff right there. That's very good, isn't it? Let's see. Um, we should see if she's afraid of flying. We should bring her on an airplane and see if she's afraid of flying. You think she would be? Are you afraid of flying, Ada? She you is. Are, you she's are. terrified. I want you to let yourself go and tr go get on a plane for me. Because you're under hypnosis. You can do it. Come on now. Let's go up the plank. You know what? <laughs> I know we can't get on it because on Air Force One only the president's there. But you want to say hello to him. So walk up the plank. You, the, the FBI will get after you because you're not supposed to be on it. But say hello and then get off the plane fast. <laughs> Don't want to get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. She may have a problem from either a past life or an earlier time why she's afraid of flying. She could have been in a war where she went down in a plane, or in a private plane. Too. You must see me for hypnosis. Great <laughs> job, Ann Fisher. Everybody give her a hand. <laughs> if we can bring them back from hypnosis, and we'll talk to them very quickly, and then we'll take some questions from the audience. So. Can I leave them under? No, let's br bring them back really fast. Can we do it okay. fast? Okay. Okay. Girls, you're under hypnosis, but I'm going to have you wake up now. But if I want you to go back again, I'll count from 10 to 1, and you'll be right back where you are now. At the count from 10 to 1, you'll be back where you are. Number 1, come up. 2, 3, 4, 5. Wake up. Wake up, Wake up everybody. <laughs> now, look, I'm, I'm going go to go talk to them. What did that feel like? Well, it felt different. It felt <laughs> different? Yes, very relaxing. Did you know you were on a plane? Mm. Very very quickly you were on a plane. Oh, no, I'd never be on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> and you you were a singer. Did you know that? No, I wasn't. You sang a whole song for us. I didn't. <laughs> what, what was it like for you? Very relaxing. Very relaxing. Yeah, very kind of surreal. And for you? It was like. Floating. Just like floating. Oh, maybe I need to go under then if it's if it's that enjoyable. Who had questions? I know in the front row, stand on up. You said you had a question for Ann Fisher. What would you like to ask her? Ann, I'm in the middle of a lawsuit right now. Can you tell me how that might come out if it's going to be in my favor or not? It's against an insurance company. I'm involved in a lawsuit right now against an insurance company for the return of a premium payment that they've always refused to give me. Okay, well, I only have one lawyer that would take it, so. I Maybe that's the right, right one. one. I think if you fight hard enough, you'll get it. Okay, thank they don't you. Pay, you know. Oh, I know they. Yeah. Don't care. But you, ha I think you have a good lawyer because I could see a green aura around you, so I would say yes. Thank you. Hi, stand up. Who would you like to ask Ann Fisher? I'd like to know if my mom gave my dad the message. Uh, you mean uh, when the, when he died? When she died? Yes. She died. He's alive. No. Did he go first? Yes. Okay. You mean when she was passing, you wonder if he was there? Is that what you're asking me? I told I him. I think he was. I told him to tell him something. How long ago was this? Uh, the 26th. Okay. Of what? This yeah. month? How many years ago did the... May 26th, 2009. Oh, 2008. Oh, did ju she, yeah, just she just passed. Oh, okay. Well, she just passed. Oh, she just passed. Okay. 
Because I felt that, uh, and I do get this a lot, that when, when a person's about to pass, a loved one will come through. So your, your uh, father came through and told her he loved her and took her with him. And I gave her took, a message to yeah, give her to with him. him. Right. Thank you. A She's at peace. Anyone else? I think we had one more somewhere, right? Who had one? Somebody else raised their hand. Oh, over here? Okay. Be brave. Stand up. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, one moment. Go ahead. You're on the I had a sister that passed here um, years ago, and my father is taken ill, and I'm just wondering what um, to expect. My father's ready to pass. He's got that choice um, with his illness. And my sister came to me in a dream. Do you have anything that... that she, he is going to be. I mean, he has that choice. He's got ALS. Blue Garrett. Not yet. No. But my sister has passed and came to me in a dream. And that's why he's I came. giving you a warning. What I get is he's giving you a warning that he had more time. It wasn't his time yet. But she was, she's close there. When he does go, she will be with him. Okay. Is that, that what you wanted to know? What she had said to me was to let Dad come to me. Now it's my turn. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's yeah, very true. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ann Fisher. Everybody give her a hand. Great job today. I had a great deal of fun. We come back with another segment, so don't go anywhere. Ann Fisher, thank you very much.